What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Prince of YouTube, P.S. Compulsion, signing in here, a.k.a. Prince Anthony. And if you guys missed the last episode, you guys already know the drill. Go ahead and check it out. But if you guys did miss that episode, you guys missed Colin Sexton and Derrick Rose both going off for career highs. Derrick Rose had 42, Colin Sexton had 34, but we didn't pull out the W. If you guys want to know why, watch that last episode. But we did bounce back with a W against the Phoenix Suns. Of course, the Phoenix Suns wasn't going to beat us. Colin Sexton and Derrick Rose went off in that game as well. And with that W, we are now 29-15 and 15 for the NBA season so far. We're right behind the Warriors and the Rockets in the standings. Right now, we're a third seed, while our rival team, the Seattle Supersonics, are a fourth seed. And I owe them a big fat L. You guys already know why. But we'll get to that game game another episode or should i say live stream but up next we're getting ready to face off against the indiana paces to end our road trip we've been on the road for like five six games now and this is going to be a challenging game because right now the paces are number one in the eastern conference and if you guys don't remember their roster just know that paul george re-signed with them during the off season he left oklahoma city to come right back to the indiana paces so now they got victor oladipo and a strong squad the only thing that they're missing is a point guard because they're starting point guard and all the point guards on their team are trash but before i get to that game do you guys notice anything wrong with this nba all-star 2019 voting i'll give you guys another second if you guys couldn't figure it out hassan whiteside has enough votes to make it into the all-star game while nobody from our squad has enough votes to make it into the all-star game that is some major bs right there it's probably because the all-star game is being held in seattle so they wanted somebody from the seattle supersonics on the team but that doesn't really matter because hey jaron jackson jr is still going to bring home the rookie of the year marvin bagley eat your heart out but anyways ladies and gentlemen welcome to indiana as we get ready to face off against paul george victor oladipo and the indiana paces this should be a very tough game facing off against the best in the east but guess what? We don't back down from nobody, baby. Las Vegas, Indiana, let's go Vegas. All I'm saying is that if we beat the Pacers before, we can do it again. So tip off time here in Indy as we win the tip. Colin was waiting for the ball, but I'm attacking right away. Look at that, get it inside to Triple J. That's how you start in game. Pacers really need an upgrade at the point guard position. But let's see what Sean Mack is. He gets it inside to some bonus. Get that weak stuff out of here. Excellent block. Who is this running to the three-point line? Josh Hart wide open. He's not missing that. Come on, let's go. That's it's like they're going to Oladipo. I'm trying to fight past the screen. Oladipo still gets a good look and knocks it down. He was not going to miss that. Game going back and forth to start. Both teams got 11 points. Let's see what we got in this possession. Let's keep the offense rolling. Look at that beautiful floater. Okay. Colin Dickinson was trying to run that pick and roll with Big Al. Didn't go nowhere. Oh, they still get it inside to Big Al, but get that weak stuff out of here. Excellent block by Triple J. Trying to push the tempo. Nice handoff to Josh Hart. Ah oh, man, forget it. Nice I'm going to kick it right back out because I'm probably going to get blocked. Side. I'm not trying to get blocked right back, you feel me? About to run that beautiful pick and roll, though, with Jordan Bell here. Sexy, I'm about to throw up the floater, but I corner. see Jaron Jackson in the corner. The and he not hating when my team switch. Mitchell Crazy Robinson is a beast on the defensive end, but I know he can't guard Oladipo, and I know that Derrick Rose cannot guard Miles Turner, at least down low. But anyways, oh, I see Jordan Bell cut to the basket. I turned the—oh, I thought I got the turnover, but I get the beautiful j j j Robinson wide open for three. I don't even know why I took that shot. Why did I even attempt that? Hey, he was clutch a few games ago. Why not try it again? Here's Miles Turner jacking up the shot. Can't get it to go. Excellent close out by Mitchell Robinson. I'm really glad I called him up. But here comes D Wade getting it to Robinson. Oh man, I didn't go nowhere with that. All right, about to run that pick and roll with Jordan Bell. Still not going nowhere. Wait, who's this open in the corner? Derek Rose, is that you? As he knocks down the three. Oladipo with the pick and roll with Miles Turner. He's not going away, but he still puts up the shot in traffic and knocks it down. Oladipo is perfect for this game. 4-4 four four from the field, 8 points. If he catches fire, I think this game might be over. You can't stop the Hall of Fame CPU when they catch fire. But here's D-Rose inside. I'm moving the basketball, trying to find the first available shot. My offense have not been the greatest here in the second quarter, not going nowhere. Look at this. Just moving the basketball and running pick and rolls with different people. All right, here's Robinson driving. Oh, Oladipo just ran away from D-Wade. D-Wade for three. He's been feeling it the past. still mind-boggling that sometimes Bogdan be running the point as he gets it inside the big. Get that weak stuff out of here. But, of course, he gets the rebound, the putback, and one. BS right there, bro. 
I really now, hate blocking the Hall of Fame CPU and then, oh wait, Big Al is on fire, yo, you know we having a bad second quarter when Big Al is on fire, out of all people, bro, oh my goodness, still down by two points, at least can we tie the game before the end of the half, about to run that pick and roll with Alex Len, here's Josh Hart, pull up jump shot, that's good, oh, come on, Hart, that's easy, you should have made that, oh, I get the steal, let's go, bad pass by Sabonis, I take it all the way to the basket, that should have been an and one, Sabonis better pass, that's what I thought. Here's Oladipo. They're going to Miles Turner. Miles Turner turns fades like he's Kobe. Can't get the shot to go. At least they missed that time. Here comes Colin Sexton about to drop to the basket. Oh, Josh Hart, nice cut, and I get it inside to him. He looked like he got Oladipo going to PG when he's on fire. Get that weak stuff out of here. What you doing, PG? What are you doing, Paula George? Why are you going to PG when you're on fire, Oladipo? I would have jacked up a three. I'm sorry. I would have been like, PG, get out of my face with that BS. Bless you, the pace is, oh, give me that. Kyle Anderson with the nice steal, pushing the tempo. Oh, man, I'm not trying to get blocked. Oh, nice patience as I find Alex Len. And he throws down the beautiful j j j Paul George being selfish. I'm about to bring that double team. Oh, they finally go to Oladipo. He's feeling it, and, of course, he lays it up and in. I jinxed it. I should have never told them to go to Oladipo. See, they're listening to me. Oladipo makes it a two-point game as I get it inside to Anderson, and he lays it up and in. Let's go. Getting those two points right back with ease. Our offense is starting to catch fire here in this third quarter. There we go. Nice, beautiful steal. Here comes Josh Hart getting the ball to Colin Sexton. I was going to drop to the basket, but I changed my mind like the last second. Run that pick and roll with Triple J instead, Upside not going nowhere at all. That's a lot of space. Don't disrespect and, uh, Triple J. As he not What are you doing, Mario? Yo, Mario Hazonia is and trash. Look at that. Get that weak stuff out of here. Get that weak stuff out of here again. What are you doing, Mario? Go sit on the bench. I get the ball to Josh Hart. Make it a nine-point lead off that perfect. Nate McMillan telling his Pacers that they're about to lose to the third best team in the Western Conference. Excellent coaching by him. But starting the fourth quarter, we have a nine-point lead. Let's keep on adding to it. About to run that beautiful pick and roll. Where is the defense? D-Wade getting all the way to the basket. I should trade Corey Joseph to the Pacers or something because they really need a better point guard. But that was a good find to Paul George. I can't even lie. That was an excellent pass, by the way. But here comes Derrick Rose trying to drive to the basket. Not going nowhere. Getting it to Jordan Bell. I see Daniel Tice right there. They deflect the ball, but Tice still gets it and throws down the jam. Pacers need some momentum right now. As they turn the ball over, CJ Miles turns the ball right back over. Come on, bro. I'm trying my best to ice this game, not give the Pacers a fighting chance. But we still got an eight-point lead. We just got to keep on scoring. Our offense has been amazing so far. Here's Derrick Rose driving. Who's this wide open? How you going to disrespect CJ Miles? He not hard. Gets a wide open three. Can't get it to go. I really wanted that three-pointer. That would have been like the excellent dagger. But here comes Paul George. Nice defense so far by Anderson, forcing him into the miss. And the Pacers look like they're pretty much going to lose this game. There's no way they could come back. Getting the ball to Colin Sexton, moving the ball, getting it inside to Josh Hart. Hart forces it up. That should have been a foul. But I get the offensive rebound. Triple J with the putback. Step your game. He scored like one point in the past two, three minutes. And the pace is still about to lose by 10 points. I'm jacking up a shot at the buzzer with CJ Miles. I'm being disrespectful to the Hall of Fame CPU. This game is done. And we beat the best team in the Eastern Conference. No mercy, bro. I'm not having no mercy on no other team for the rest of the season. Pacers played a really good game, but they're not going to go nowhere in the playoffs without a good point guard. Listen, I'll send you guys Derrick Rose if you guys give me Paul George. Perfect trade right there. Or Victor Oladipo. I'll take either one. Or Victor Oladipo could just run the point guard. And then send Shamet to the bench and let Lance Stevenson start at the shooting guard position. I don't know. But anyways, Victor Oladipo, leading scorer for the game for the Indiana Pacers. Big Al and Paul George did their thing as well. Then when I normalized played the simulation stats, Victor Oladipo had 30 points. Big Al had 21 off the bench. Jesus Christ. I was really playing some bad defense to let Big Al score 21 points. And Paul George only had 19 points. Listen. Indy, if you guys want Derrick Rose, I'll just give him to you. If you guys send me Paul George or Victor Oladipo, I'm about to offer them that trade. They just might say yes. But anyways, looking at the box score for our squad, excellent team win, excellent team effort. Everybody was scoring. Josh Hart had 18. Triple J had 16. Derrick Rose with 13. CJ Miles was doing his thing off the bench. Colin Sexton did his thing as well. Perfect, perfect team win. Perfect team effort. Then when I normalized played the simulation stats, Josh Hart had 28. 
Triple J had 26, Derrick Rose had 22 points, CJ Miles had 12, D Wade had 10, Jordan Bell had 10, Daniel Tice had 10. Oh my goodness, Colin Sexton with 9 points, 15 assists. He still did his thing, although he didn't score as much. Excellent, excellent team win, excellent team effort. And that's a perfect, perfect team win, perfect team effort. Doesn't really matter. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching our rematch game against the Seattle Supersonics. I might play one more game before that game. I'm not sure, but I gotta get, the, I gotta get warmed up and I gotta get pumped up because the Seattle Supersonics are gonna catch this L. I'm not having no mercy on them and no mercy on any other team for the rest of this season. Let's go Vegas.